In Moreton Bay, at low tide, you can often see hundreds of holes and depressions in the mud and sand. They are made by stingrays. Stingrays are bottom feeders churning the sand and mud up looking for invertebrates to feed on. One stingray can leave hundreds of pools in a 10 meter square area. These pools vary in diameter from 20 centimeters to 1.5 meters and in depth from 6 to 9 centimeters. At low tide, these depressions act as small reservoirs of seawater. These pools form important habitats for juvenile fish and prawns, as well as a number of other invertebrates, including mollusks and worms. Most invertebrates can bury themselves in the sediment in order to avoid becoming stranded without water. The permanent water of the stingray holes provides fish with an opportunity to remain on the flats at low tide and avoid predation from larger fish. Scientific studies in Moreton Bay have revealed that 19 species of fish and 3 species of prawn can be found in these stingray holes. Two of the most common species found in these pools are the sand whiting and the king prawn. Another common species is the goby. They can spend the majority of their lives in the stingray holes. Able to tolerate high temperatures and varying salinity, the juvenile fish and prawns not only find shelter from predators, such as the flathead, but also find food in these pools. These intertidal flats and pools are important for the production of sand whiting and king prawn, two important commercial species in Moreton Bay. This production could be affected by outflow from stormwater pipes and therefore care should be taken with their location. Consequently, the management of areas like the intertidal flats of Hayes Inlet and around Moreton Bay can have a direct impact on important commercial and recreational fisheries in southeast Queensland.